Donna James from the Redneck Gourmet Show, live in Hope, BC, from the Great Fraser River Salmon Barbecue Competition. Oh my gosh, what an event. Welcome to the Redneck Gourmet. doing today Donald? Uh, not too bad a little bit busy but uh, pretty good overall. A little bit busy I think would be an understatement. I think you'd be about right. <laughs> now Donald you are the man who actually started the Great Fraser River Salmon Barbecue Competition. Yes. Yes I am. And why did you do this? Well it's uh, sort of a, a comical thing that I, uh, I take it a barbecue judging workshop and I'm very very happy to take it and uh, I, I really expected that there'd be something for seafood on the West Coast, and there, there wasn't. So I, as much as I like my chicken ribs and pork, I also love my seafood. So I began this, and you know, Hope needed uh, something. They needed a little bit of a, an event, something they could call their own. And this being a West Coast first, I'm happy to say that it was brought here, here in Hope. Let's see, and it's absolutely beautiful. This is an incredible event. It's jam-packed today. Sure is, sure is. I, I think we probably hit another new number. I mean, first year we had 500 people, second year we had 1,500. This year, looking at the way everything's going, we're gonna easily hit 2,000. Oh, I would say so easily, yes. Now, I've noticed you've got uh, you've got every level of competitor here um, with the salmon, and you've got jewelry, you've got artisans, and these chainsaw artists. How did you do this? I can't imagine one person pulling this together. Boy, it certainly wasn't one person. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, you know, there's a Saturday market and those folks, uh, once they saw how this was going, um, they just, initially they came in a little bit, but then they just kept on getting bigger and bigger with it. With the chainsaw carving, that's something that occurs every other year here. And there's a gentleman uh, named Victor Smith in, in Hope and he does a great job and he's the one responsible for the chainsaw carving, which is, became quite an event into itself. Mr. Smith, you are one hard man to find. Oh, I got around here in a very busy place. Now, Victor, um, I see all the volunteers in the tent where I met you. Why don't you tell me what your part in this is? I'm chairperson of a group of, of volunteers in town that we do quite a few projects and that. And, uh, most are retired and they just like to do give back to the community. Which is a beautiful thing. We've noticed actually, um, I've noticed personally and so has the crew, the amount of community involvement and spirit here is magnificent. That's our biggest treasure. You know, you, could, you, could, you can't buy what you get from volunteers. And look what we've made here. We got a weird treasure. Well, you know, that's one thing um, I can say just even after one day in Hope, BC, is this is a town with heart and spirit that cares about their own. And I can't believe the artistry that they're pulling off with chainsaws. It is amazing. But of course, you know, myself, it's just like, well, show me the salmon. I want to see the salmon. <laughs> well, actually, it is all about the salmon today, although there's Everything else here, there's something for everyone here. So you may be wondering, what are those judges doing behind me right now? What are they actually basing their judging on? In barbecue competition, the three main categories tend to be appearance, taste, and texture. And this one is no different. So I'm looking at the scorecard here for the judges, and it is 25% for appearance, 25 for texture, and 50 for taste. Well, I'll tell you what, after sampling some of the tastes that are going on here today, 50% is indeed gonna raise the stakes.
I can't believe the beauty I'm surrounded with. Oh, agreed. It actually is a big thing with why I ended up here. I could have chosen any one of a number of places, but because it's so, so beautiful, all the highways that uh, intersect here, to me, it was picture perfect for me with my work. Now, we've done um, the first level of competition, and what is that category called? That's the, you know, barbecue or smoke division. Okay, and the signature dish? The signature dish is uh, something where it's sort of like a, a freestyle, you know, where anything goes, you know, with it when it comes to, it could be something like uh, sushi, it could be chowder, it could be casserole, it could be all these different things. And first and foremost, um, you can present it any which way you want. But if you want to present it on a cedar plank, you can. If you want to be like myself, where I've got too many of these fish platters and stuff, <laughs> that you can do that too. Now, you were a competitor in the competition today. Yes, I, uh, I put in a recipe in honor of my dad today. My dad passed away a few years ago. Very sorry for your loss. Thank you, I, uh, yeah, I miss him like crazy, but he had this family recipe, it was a secret. He passed it along to me before he passed away, so I brought it here today just so people could enjoy it. You know, actually, I tasted the salmon carrot and it was exquisite, phenomenal recipe. He is an amazing guy, and I'm glad. As long as the people here are happy today, I'm happy. Well, I can I can assure you they were happy. Um, I was, the crew was, and as far as I'm concerned, you're already a winner. Well, thank you very much. Like I say, it doesn't really matter as long as people got to taste sort of the legacy of what my dad was doing with salmon. It was pretty awesome. What a beautiful homage. Yeah, he's a pretty awesome guy. I'm hoping that he's uh, giving me a few votes up there tonight. <laughs> you know what? I'm sure he's smiling down. <laughs> I'm sure he is, too. He's here. Well, he's here and right in you, right? Yeah, absolutely. He's fantastic. You know, I know what it is to lose a father, and can I give you a hug? Absolutely. Thank you. Now, Carrie, I noticed that a lot of the competitors today have a lot of team members. Yes, they do. I do not. You were a team of one. I was. Absolutely. I didn't give anybody my secrets. <laughs> now, you did have a cheerleader, and who was that? That was my son, Raiden. He's an awesome kid. He's pretty good, and he came and he was handing out the samples, and he was just making sure he was doing my running for me, which is really awesome, but um, he doesn't know the recipe, so that was all me. Now, Don, when you and I were talking, you told me that you have um, someone you work very closely with, and apparently you're righty and she's lefty? That would be right. <laughs> yes, yeah, Le Lefty is uh, my oh my. She's quite a lady, uh, very, very strong, strong uh, business background. And she is my, she is my opposite. You know, I'm regarded as the, uh, the right, you know, the right person, the right wing out of it. And she is indeed, she's the left, you know, out of it. And it seems to work. And you two work together to pull all this off? Well, there's other folks that are involved too, um, but she's definitely, she's my right-hand person with, you know, when it came to everything regarding the salmon barbecue competition. Charlene, how are you doing today? I'm terrific. How are you? I'm really well, thanks. Now, Charlene, you go by another name. Yes, Lefty. So now, I understand that you and Donald work very closely together to bring this event to fruition? Yes, we absolutely are like uh, Siamese twins that need to be separated. <laughs> no, that's it, that's it. <laughs> that's actually, I, I've got a few people like that in my life, actually. That's a visual, huh? <laughs> that's, a, that's a great visual. Now, Charlene, you were telling me when we were off camera about what's cool about the Great Fraser River Salmon Barbecue Competition, and what is that? All volunteer driven. We all get paid the same amount of money, nothing. We do it for the love of uh, our iconic salmon, our Fraser River, our beautiful town that we live in. Um, it's, it's just great. We love it. What's not to love? I can't believe the energy here today. I can't believe how much people love this town and the raw beauty you're surrounded with. It's magnificent. The first two years people live here, all they do is walk around looking up. Looking up because it's so beautiful. And then when you see the salmon run, it blows your mind. Well, that's actually something I would love to see. Yeah, it's, it's awesome. And then, of course, here we are, nature's bounty volunteer it's great and it and it benefits heroes of the community um, hope search and rescue they are phenomenal people they are all volunteers and they go out night day storm sun 
doesn't matter and save lives. That's what this that's what this event benefit? Oh yes. Yep. I did not know that. Yes, and they they're set up over there. They're the people who uh, hang off the of mountains, go up in helicopters, um, you know, fire accidents, everything. They're all heroes. They're wonderful people. Why don't you tell us what you do for volunteer living? I'm uh, with Hope Search and Rescue. I'm one of the uh, search manager, and uh, we assist people as much as we can. Now, what is a search manager? Search manager basically is when there is a call, we're the one that look after the uh, the organization of the whole call. Basically, no, look after the uh, logistic, make sure that members shows up, that they've got the proper gear, and that they also know what what the de what the call is uh, dealing with. Okay, so um, that could range, I'm assuming, in various levels from small to big. Yes, we can go from. Uh, a person that's lost in town here, or it can be in the mountains. It can also be a swift water call, and also uh, we do uh, boat calls, we do JAWS, as the demo behind us right now. And uh, about half of our calls are JAWS. What is JAWS? JAWS are extrication, basically, where we take the car away from the patient. Wow, actually, so that's JAWS of life? Yes, it is, yeah. Oh my gosh, you know, I just I just want to thank you and everyone who does this because I understand you're all volunteer. Yes, we are. We're uh, basically we take a course that's about six months ish and then uh, we're we could do it for uh, you know, making sure that people basically it's closure for the family. Wow. So you're out there saving lives. Basically, we get the person out of the uh, out of the situation. And then, uh, depending on circumstances, at least we bring closure to the family where, you know, if the, the casualty or the person passed, we bring you home. Or try to. Well, well I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Sorry. No, thank you. Thank you for all that you do. You're welcome. Thanks for your service, man. And no, thank you. We do it, like I said, most of us doing it for for closure and for, no, let's put it this way. If I'd be in that situation, I'd like somebody to come and rescue me. And that's why we do it. See, and to me, that's the definition of a hero. Yeah. Donald Stokes, oh my gosh, what an amazing day. How you feeling? A little bit overwhelmed, you know, the crowds, the uh, the weather cooperated, the crowds have been fabulous. Um, everything looks good. It, you know, for, from our perspective, it was fantastic and over the top. Um, did you sample all the salmon yet? Because now we're at the end of the day. I tried to sample as many of the individual ones I could, but no, I can't say that I've tried each individual one. Fair enough. Well, a lot of them were tasty. Indeed. Now, I heard that part of the proceeds are going to Hope Search and Rescue will be one part. And then another part, um, we've had an awful season that's, you know, it's even affected today with the uh, with the forest fires, is that another part will go to a yet to be determined grassroots group towards the forest fires, you know, that have affected uh, all of Western Canada. I love that grassroots thing. I do too. I can't thank you enough for inviting the Redneck Gourmet here, myself here. Um, this is bar none one of the best events we've ever been to. Myself and the team have felt so welcome. We've been happy to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for coming. It's our pleasure. Can I give you a hug? Sure.
texture. And this one is no different. 